Hello everyone, we are from Jakarta 2D, we present to you our final project on Bangkit and start at when the big question, is your food fresh or not? It's delivered by our team, Ahmad Emir al Fatah, student of Universitas Sriwijaya Palembang, Anggar De Febriano, student of Universitas Indonesia Jakarta, Zahra Ayu Humaye, private employee in Jakarta. But first, let me tell you a story. Ayu was in the first shop at the traditional market to buy fruits that will be brought to visit her grandmother. She had to choose the fresh ones because her grandmother has a quite sensitive stomach, but she found it difficult to determine which fruit was fresh because she rarely shopped at traditional market. She needs a way to check, is the fruit fresh or not? We somehow often experience this kind of situation in our daily life. From here, we get the idea to create a fresh and rotten fruit predictor. So let's get deeper into our project. From problem, we need to predict the fruit's freshness. With machine learning, we think the most proper solution is to create a classifier model. By creating a classifier model, it can receive inputs and predict whether the fruit is fresh or rotten. And for this project, we use the first fruit fresh and rotten for classification dataset from Kego. The dataset contains images of apples, banana, and orange. And each fruit is divided into fresh and rotten. In total, there are six classes, fresh apples, fresh banana, fresh oranges, rotten apples, rotten banana, and rotten oranges. And then why did we choose this data set? The first is because its uniqueness. We consider this data set is unique because in addition to being in its being in line with our needs in detecting fruit, but also consists of rotten fruit that will enrich our data. And then suitable. This data set fits our idea uh, that we offer and sufficient the amount of data in this that the amount of uh, the amount of data in this data set is enough to get the optimal result from our model and feasible in quality this data set is good enough so we can process it further and moreover this data set also opens our chances to make improvement and for the baseline we use the transfer learning exception v3 in our model so we will get the result in six classes as we mentioned before, and here is the example of the result we've got. And later, what if we want to try checking the freshness of fruits other than apples, bananas, or oranges? So let's give it a try. But before we start, here is, here is our hypothesis. Uh, the first is we think that existing fruits from dataset, apple, banana, and oranges can be predicted just only two classes, that is fresh and rotten. And then later, it can be generalized to determine the freshness of other kind of fruits. So, next. Hi, my name is Ahmad Emil Afata, and I will present the next slide. Why did we choose the improvement? On the previous slide, we know that our baseline model can predict fresh or rotten fruit from apple, banana, and orange. And we also know when we try another type of fruit, the model gives us a true prediction of fresh or rotten fruit even if it's not an apple, banana, or orange. Because of that, uh, we can get an assumption that our image dataset with apple, banana, and orange can extract the feature of fresh or rotten fruit for all type of fruit. We believe with this improvement, our machine learning model can make a lot of impact because the model not only predict the specific fruit but also for all type of fruit. For a preparation dataset, we augment our dataset to generate more data. In this augmentation, we do a lot of image processing such as rescaling image, width and hex shifting, shearing image, zooming image, vertical and horizontal flipping, and reflect the image. And this is the result of our augmentation. For the technique, we use FGG16 instead of Inception V3 from the baseline model because FG16 has a pretend model on a huge dataset with a lot of diverse image categories and FG16 has a less layer than Inception V3 consists of 13 coefficient layer and 2 connected hidden layer so the size of the model smaller than Inception V3 and it can save more storage on the cloud also when we train the neural network with freezing all layer in transfer learning, we got a better prediction with FGG16. And this is the code of the model. After we train the model, we can see the training validation accuracy and loss is have a good graph, with validation accuracy is 92%, which is better than the baseline model using Inception V3. And this is the result of our test image. 
From the model we have created, we achieve 94.9% accuracy on the test. And if we evaluate the hypothesis, the baseline model can be improved to predict fresh or rotten from all type of wood. With 94% accuracy, we hope our model can be used to predict the fresh or rotten food and then help people to differentiate between fresh and rotten food easily. In the video, you can see our app can predict the fruit. Hello, my name is Angorda, and in this section, I will show you how to run the notebook and also how to download the Kaggle dataset using cookies.txt extension or Google Chrome. And after that, we will be discussing about the the idea of our we are proposing about our model for the local implementation, and also we will be demonstrating our, the, our app that we already built. So let's first of all just show how to run the notebook. First of all, open your Google Colab and copy this repository link. On your Google Colab. After you copy paste the ring and open the Google Colab, we will show you will get this friends. And yeah, just run as usual, shift enter, shift enter, and when it comes to this section which is download data sets, we need to upload the cookies.txt. The cookies.txt is get we get from when we install the cookies.txt extension on Google Chrome. You can install it from the slide that we provide the link, and then when you are you already installed the cookies.txt, open the Kaggle, and in the top right corner, download the cookies.txt. After you download the cookies.txt, and then upload it to this section, this, and upload the cookies.txt, and open, and yeah, and it's done. Then the last the data set. After the dataset is finishing downloading, just run the notebook as usual. Press Shift Enter at every section, and the model will will train as usual. After that, we go to another section, which is the local implementation of our model. So, just like what we already discussed in a previous slide which is IU and her grammar problem we give you an example of usual problem that people face when it comes the time to buy a fruit on the market it is hard to determine which is a fresh fruit or it's a potted fruit so uh, we do also already agree that Indonesia is a country that can produce many kind of fruit and also exporting many kind of fruit and we also agree that Indonesian people should eating much more healthy food healthy food such as like fruits and especially a fresh fruit so imagine that you have a stable working model that implement on a very good UI and UX application and the purpose of the app is to determine whether the fruit is fresh or it is a rotten fruit so yeah maybe people like IU and none of people like IU will be very happy because she can choose the fruit easily in the market and give it to her grandma and make her grandma also happy so, we propose an idea to build an application that using our improved model to help people determine it is a fresh or it is a rotten fruit. So, in this project, we already implemented it in our prototype. So, as simple as taking the picture of the fruit and upload it to the app and give it to our model, and our model will give the user the answer it is a rotten or it is a fresh fruit. So, let's we show you and open this link. And let's we try predict an image which is maybe an apple and open it and predict and in this section we will show you that this 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 image is a fresh fruit with a confidence of 74.61% which is good because we know it from its looking it's a very fresh fruit and, and let's try another which is is image and, one, and predict and in this image, the result is it is a rotten fruit with a confidence of 93.54%. Okay, um, maybe you can not try another image and try another fruit, and yeah, just try it on yourself. And yeah, maybe I think it's that's all from our group presentation. Thank you for your listening, and first of all, and last of all, enjoy your fresh, healthy fruits. Thank you.